If you're someone like me who has been having multiple issues enabling the marketplace sales channel on your Facebook shop, then you're going to want to stay tuned all the way until the end. I want to invite you guys to join my free Discord group. Here you're going to get all the information on all my monthly case studies. If you're interested in this, sign up to my free Discord. Link will be down in the description and I'll see you inside. If you're looking for a more hands-on approach and a guided step-by-step -step on how to get started with Facebook Marketplace Dropshipping or Facebook Shops, then I highly recommend you check out my private members-only membership group on the Mighty Network. If you want to book coaching calls, then a link will be down in the description. But on this week's video, I want to walk you through a different approach on how to actually go through the process of getting access to a shop if you're a beginner and you've been not being able to get access to the sales channel via a facebook shop then you're gonna want to watch this video all the way until the end i'm gonna walk you through exactly what i did and then i'm gonna show you that this brand new page that i created with this brand new business manager account was actually granted access to the facebook marketplace sales channel now i don't understand how this works for some reason or another you know facebook sometimes leaves like this little like loopholes open for us that we can tend to expose if you notice them early on with this method or with this process and not really a method um, you are somehow able to get through the gatekeepers and get access a, to, uh, to a shop and to the sales channel being green. Now, is this not a guarantee? Uh, it, it may take you maybe multiple tries. So without further ado, let's go inside my computer. Let me show you exactly what it is that I'm talking about. We are inside my computer. And as you can see, we're navigating through the homepage of the shop. Now, for obvious reasons, I am blurring some information that I do want us to remain private because I do plan on actually using this shop for drop shipping. So um, as you can see um, right now, it's still showing that it is currently under review, which is a normal process. And this happens when you create a brand new page. Uh, so I would maybe recommend if you already have an existing page already um, and the name uh, needs to match the same name as your commerce manager account, because otherwise it won't allow you to create it. And this is something that I noticed while I was testing this out. I, I know a couple others have made a similar video to the one that I'm currently uh, in the process of making, but I don't think none of them mentioned that there has been a minor change with the page name has to match your commerce manager account, or you're going to get into an error and Facebook will not let you, you know, complete the setup process. So like I said, this page is currently under review. There's 129 items in the catalog. And right now I'm in the wait and see, and hopefully this shop does get approved. So now let me show you how um, the sales channel on this shop is showing green. So I navigated over to my business assets. And as you can see right there, I do have the green dot for the, um, Facebook marketplace sales channel. Again, I don't know why doing it like this, it's allowing me to have the sales channel. Um, like I said, I'm still under review. So who knows what's going to happen? You know, once review completes, either I get a brand new shop or I'm back at square one. It's one of the two, it's a 50 50. Um, so now that I showed you the shop, let me show you now step by step where from your individual marketplace you actually get started uh, to go through this process so you can replicate it yourself. So before we go over to my individual marketplace account, I do want to say that in order for this to work via your own Facebook marketplace um, personal account, you need to have the new seller uh, dashboard and not everyone may have access to this dashboard just yet. I know it took a while for my account to get that new dashboard, uh, my personal account. And there's a few others who I've spoken to that still see the old dashboard on their individual seller account. So just make a note of that. If you have already been migrated over to the new one, then you are going to be able to do this. If you still are using the old because Facebook for whatever reason hasn't yet transition you over, 
then you won't be able to go and do the setup process via your individual account. So now let me go and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so we're back inside of my computer and let me show you quickly. Um, so if you're new and you haven't seen this before, right on the top um, left-hand corner, you're gonna see seller dashboard. So if you have this, then you can actually go through this process yourself and try it and get to see if you can actually get a shop set up with the marketplace sales channel. And what you want to do is go down below. You're going to see right here where it says add a business. You're going to want to click on that and it's going to bring you to this next step right here. And then basically you'll just follow the steps as you normally would. Once you click next, then you're going to have an option to select an existing page to create your business manager account with, or you have the option to create a brand new page from scratch. Now this option, it does tell you right there in the fine print that it will go through a standard 30 day review. So in my case, I actually went ahead and did the create a new page. If you already have an existing page that matches the same name as your commerce manager account, then you don't have to do that step and it will be probably approved a lot faster because there's nothing for Facebook to go ahead and validate. Next step, you now select your business manager account that you want to go ahead and connect your business page to. Now you have the option to select an existing one or you can go ahead and create a new business account, which in this case, if you're creating a new page, you might as well create a new business account. So once you go ahead and complete that process, it brings you to the next step right over here. And basically now you're going to be entering a lot of personal information like your address, um, your banking account information, um, and other pieces of um, private information that only you should be uh, have the information to do it. So that will be kind of the next step. So for the sake of the video, I'm not going to walk you through because most of you have already done this before and you must be very familiar. But again, if you have any questions, you know, let me down, let me know down in the comment section below. But I highly encourage you, you go ahead and give this a try, especially if you have access to the new seller dashboard in your individual marketplace. And as always, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, then give me two big thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, then please consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys on the next one.